Easy peeps and welcome back to episode 7 of Team Awesome FC Pro Clubs. Last episode we spoke about some sponsorship deals that may be coming into the club. We're going to put a hold on that for the moment because there's rumours flying around that Team Awesome FC might be sold. Yeah, I know, I know it's shocking. Apparently there, there might be some new owners on the horizon, we're not too sure yet. So because of that we have to put all of that on hold at the moment. And let's just get into this current episode. So, we are currently in Division 5. We have three games left of this division. We need minimum of three points, but ideally a nice six points would be beautiful from our three games to get promotion to Division 4. Our record is currently 27 wins, 7 draws and 15 losses. Not the best. Not the best. But we shall get there. So, let's crack on. Let's see if we can get promotion to Division 4 and let's get into the action. Right, let's get on to the action then. We're doing the rotation thing again. So for the first uh, batch of 5, we've got Barks up front, Welsh Boy at Cam and Joff at RCM and Bark starts off brilliant, br br brilliantly scoring with his first shot as we go 1 0 up in the game. Not going to show you all the games, obviously, but a good cross from myself into Barks and Bart Barks gets him. <laughs> can't even speak today, man. Barks gets himself a double on his first game. Well played, son. He does really well when he goes up front. You have to give him a little bit of credit. Well done. Nice drag back and turn from me. And we go 3-0 up in this game. Well played, boys. Next, don't press A. Two of them pressed A, of course. This is what we're dealing with every single game. And the funny thing is, I'll give you a little behind-the-scenes little tip. As we're loading into the game, at least one person says, don't press A. And then somebody always presses A. It's like dealing... Just dealing with children. That's that's all I can say. Anyway, we're 1-0 down in this game. Nice little passing movement. Barks with the assist to myself and we make it 1-1 in this game now. We're on the attack. 52nd minute. We get, well, Welsh boy loses, loses possession. Starting to be a bit of a common thread from Welsh boy last couple of sessions. He's losing quite a lot of possession and this time we get done for it. And we go 2-1 down in this game but we're on the attack can Welsh boy make a name for himself he can but he passes it to Welsh guy who does a stunning pass to I don't know I don't even know who it was to well, I was try trying to think of something funny there but just there's no words for it at some stage guys there's no words for it 2-1 <laughs> down 3-1 down as they score a header on the 57th unfortunately and we lose that game next up Five star Raiders, well done boys. Nobody pressed A that time, very proud of you all. And we go 1-0 up as Joff scores a nice little header from a nice little cross. Another cross from them this time. And we're unlucky on that one as it goes 1-1. Hmm, such a shame. 1-1, they're on the attack again as we can't manage to clear the ball. We've got defenders tripping over defenders everywhere. 2-1 down. Phillips on the attack now. Welsh boy trying to redeem himself after he'd already scored a goal to take it 2-2. He scores his second of the game to make it 3-2. We're on the attack again. Barks into Welsh boy as Welsh boy gets himself a hat-trick on the 68th minute. Redeeming himself from losing the ball all the time. Even, even Welsh guy's in on the act to try and redeem himself from that pass. And we go 5-2. Well done, boys. And we get a rage quit. That's the best kind of win that any people can ask for in this entire world. So, we are now Division 4. We won the title. Unfortunately, we can't celebrate the title because obviously they rage quit. And we are now moving on up. Moving on up. And now we're on the swapsies. Joff is now up front. Barks is now playing Cam. And Welsh Boy is playing RCM. So that everybody gets a little bit of a bash going forward. So Joff now has got a... He's, this is his moment to shine. This is his moment to shine. He's back up front. Five games. K 
Can he do the business? Can he do the dealings? Can he be clinical up front? Can he do? Can he show us all why he wants to play up front? Can he show us all why he should be striker? Can he? Sh no, no, he can't. No, nil, nil. Unfortunately, unlucky job. <laughs> unlucky, unlucky son. They've got a corner on the 61st minute. They do loads of swaps of players. And it works out for them with a nice shot. But we get the rebound. Big clearance up the top. Look at that. Pressure for myself. And a nice little dink over the keeper. All from their corner. We go 1-0 up on the 62nd. And as I'm celebrating, look at Barks. He absolutely loves it. He's dancing by himself like a man possessed. All by himself, just dancing in the middle of the field. He doesn't care. He's got no worries in this world. He loves to dance. He's a man who loves to dance. That reminds me of something that does. Followed by some more spins. Then some classic disco steps. He's right up to date here. Todd's really winning him over. A couple of big kicks. The pants are holding up just fine. And now for his big finish. Todd kicks himself in the head. The stunned dancer tries to continue, but these moves aren't part of the act. Much to Todd's and the audience's relief, the host stops the show. Oh, I think he's done a hamstring there, you're out. Never mind, mate. Well, uh, I think we'll just uh, take a commercial break, I think, and we'll be back after that break. And we'll explain. <laughs> If you wasn't laughing at that clip, you have absolutely no soul. No soul. No <laughs> oh, He kicked himself in the head. One person pressed A again. What a moron. An absolute moron. Just like that bloke that kicked himself in the head. <laughs> oh, superb, son. Superb. That was all for Barks just dancing by himself. Anyway, we're into this game now. We're on the attack. I get wiped out and injured on the floor, but we managed to get a cross in. And Joff gets himself ahead out, and we go 1 0 up on the 10th minute. They're on the attack now. Nice little cross and a nice little pass down to his attacker. His attacker manages to go past the defenders. He bangs a cross in, and it's 1 1 just before 40 minutes. They've got a corner now on the 54th, so another cross. And it goes in as well. So that's three goals in this game. All from crosses so far as we go 2-1 down. But Welsh Boy intercepts that. Lovely. And we're on the attack. And we score the first goal of the game that isn't a cross. 2-2 with a nice little finish from myself. We're on the attack again. Myself and Barks linking up beautifully. So now I'm going to put him under pressure. Put him under pressure a little bit. And he, he absolutely, absolutely loves it. Absolutely loves it. Guess what happened in the next game though? Have a guess. I'm not even going to say. Have a guess what happened as we was going into the next game. It's unbelievable. So this is the last game we are going to show you for this episode. And it was a doozy. We went 1-0 up. With a nice little volley from myself. And then I'm trying to get past the defenders. And I managed to with a nice little drag back and a banger. From outside of the box on the 20th. And we go 2-0 up. They then have a corner. Just after the beginning of the second half. And that makes it 2-1. From another cross. So crosses are our downfall. Luckily we then get a peno. And I get myself a hat-trick. 3-1 up. On the 56th minute. But they're on the attack again. They've obviously worked out that we can't defend. And they are right. We can't. As they cross it again. And we go down to another crossed goal. 3-2. But we're on the attack now. We're on inside the box. I knock it nicely across to Joff. And we go 4-2 up. So we're on the attack. We just need to learn how to defend crosses. As that seems to be our downfall quite a lot. Also it seems to be our downfall. He's kicking it out from a goal kick. From a, like a goal kick area type thing. Yeah. Brilliant. 4-2 down, we can't manage to like get it back. And we can see another one. 4-3, all from our kick inside our own goal area. But we're on the attack again. I spang it across to Barks. Barks spangs it across to Joff. 5-3. But they haven't finished there yet. And they get themselves another goal on the 86th minute from another cross. 
5-4 but we managed to hold out and we managed to take the win 5-4 and that's left us now with 16 points in Division 4. So we're doing bits man, we are doing bits, not bad. So in this episode we've won Division and we're nearly going to win another one. But let's go to the manager's office to wrap it all up. Let's see how we did. First up we've got Barks. So in this batch of 10, remember he was swapping between striker and Cam. 5 goals, 7 assists. Two man of the matches, his pass completion is up by one and his shots on target is up by one. Well done Barks, that is a solid, solid 10. Onto myself now, 10 up front, 10 goals, 11 assists, four man of the matches, but unfortunately my shots on target has gone down by one. That's just from taking too many long range efforts, I think. But that's a solid return. Welsh boy in cam and RCM, I believe it was. Three goals, three assists and one man of the match. Remember, all those goals came from that one game. So, in the other games, he only got three assists. That's not the greatest. On to Joff now. In his batch of five up front and then five at RCM. He got himself eight goals, one assist. So, a little bit greedy, Joff. <laughs> Two man of the matches. And, unfortunately, his shots on target also went down by one. And then on to the any Welsh guy. Three assists, five... No, sorry, five assists, three goals... One man of the match, and he's up that woeful shots on target now to a massive 20%. Well done. But that is it for today's episode. So we are currently sitting in Division 4. We just need one win to get the title. We've already, we've already got ourselves promotion. We just want the title in the next episode. And hopefully that can be achieved quicker rather than later. Our history so far is 35 wins, 8 draws, and 17 losses. So we're doing okay. We're doing okay. So... Ooh, who knows what's going to happen with the future of Team Awesome FC? There's rumours that the club might be sold, it might be purchased, it might be bought out. Who knows what's going to happen? Who knows? But the only way you will find out is to stay tuned to the series. If you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, please turn your notifications on so that you know when a new video goes live. Ooh, hit that thumbs up button, drop a comment, share share things share, share share your sweets i don't know just thanks thanks for watching anyway i'll catch you in a bit <laughs>